already spilled on my sweater. Look at that. I've done a couple of videos before about goal setting. Uh, one of them was where I was like, I'm just gonna have five goals. And when I look at it, um, <laughs> mostly this has been a it's been a, a fail of the goals. Very happy with the direction I've been going and I will continue to go. I decided to tackle the Inkvent calendar again. This is the Inkvent calendar itself. Very pretty. However, Norma, I accidentally accidentally left it on the table. Totally my fault. She decided to just tear into it. She just tore into it. Just so so sweet of her. So I put it all in this box. Just got it out of the way. So I've been doing playing with the inks. Each day I just kind of like uh, made a giant like uh, color pile. And uh, let's see, I'm not sure what's, and I also drew cats. I did a lot of cat drawing and then I put it all together on the uh, sketch on sketch program on my computer afterwards. One of my favorite ones was actually, this is a new camera by the way, and so I'm struggling with whether or not I'm staying in focus. It's basically hard for me. Uh, however, I am absolutely thrilled that I think I've got pretty good picture quality and I am doing this at night, which is basically the only time I, it's like my, Chance to be creative time is in the evenings. So this is, um, this one is Alpine and uh, I did a little cute little tree. Most of the time I'm not this cute, but yeah, they're fun, fun to play with the inks. And then I had fun drawing uh, cats. This one kind of has some attitude there. A yoga stretch. Ink vent was fun. It was fun uh, kind of joining the larger ink vent community on Instagram that was also posting. It was very fun to watch everybody on that. So that was my big December project. I was, did not have time for other projects. I barely had time to, I don't know, not be. During December, we took a trip to Idaho from whence we came. It's where Drew and I met and we went to camp, which was loads of fun. It's a beautiful camp and it was snowy and it was gorgeous out and the kids had a great time. I started trying to figure out how to use my, my new uh, Lumix G95. I had some fun playing with taking pictures and some of them from around the camp and then some of the pictures I took while I was not driving, I was just in the car, so is goals that I had. I'm sort of morphing, morphing goals. I had five goals and that was my thing from last early summer and then more at the end of the summer I did this whole thing about how I was just switch to kind of rotating through things. Then I kind of found out that even that was a little too much and now I am lining up large projects for myself, really just two large projects and then there's a lot of other little projects that I think are extremely fun and that I just need to give some time to. I'm gonna limit it because I still have the other job and children and sanity. The two large projects, one is to put together a children's book. Not a small project at all. However, I'm going to try to do something very approachable. I'm going to an accounting book. It will rhyme, children's books should rhyme. I feel like the requirement and the drawings will be simple but fun and we'll have lots of pops of color. So I already have a draft written of that and I just need to, you know, <laughs> do all the illustrations. It doesn't feel as intimidating. The process no longer feels extremely intimidating. And then putting the, together the illustrations no longer feels extremely intimidating either because of all the work that I did with the calendar and all the work um, that I did drawing um, cats during Inkvent, so. Speaking of the calendar, that is goal number two. I want to do another calendar. So in 2023, I'll be working on the 2024 calendar. In addition 
to coming up with a new set of illustrations to go with the 2024 calendar, I am also going to just take the 2023 calendar's illustrations and I am going to redate them and make them available as a 2024 calendar. I am definitely not against recycling. I have to decide though on what my next calendar theme is. Some of me says like, hey, just use the animals and critters that I'm doing for my counting book in it, which I am tempted to do and I think they'll be really cool. So I, but I, I don't know, I'm open to ideas. So if you have something that you're like, hey, I really, I don't know. I'm open, I'm open. Shoot me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see a calendar of. I've thought about doing trains I did a very loose train sketch this spring and I really liked it. So I would consider doing more train sketches. Um, I know a lot of people that really like trains. So it's kind of fun. I feel like it would make some of them happy. I don't know. So two, two big goals, the uh, putting together a children's book, walking through that process. Hey Becky, this doesn't have to be your favorite children's book ever. It's like my first book, is about learning the process. Pretty pumped. This is another thing. Uh, speaking of mugs, so not my mug. I didn't make this mug. As it turns out, I'm not thrilled with the quality of print on demand t-shirts. It's not screen printing and screen printing is just a much higher quality and I found that the print on demand shirts, just the, the design itself does not last. The shirt quality was lovely and they were very comfortable, but I don't, I don't like that. Um, I did find that the mug quality was quite good. And I really liked the size of the 15 ounce mug. And so over the next year, I'm going to get rid of all the shirts that I'm selling and turn them into mugs and make them sort of customized for mugs because I really like mugs and like drinking out of mugs. And I like coffee. And I like decaf coffee. I don't know why I said that. Just decaf coffee is coffee. There's another little goal that's just gonna probably take me a decade. I have been working on a lot of recipes and I put them up on my website. Some of my recipes are for things you would put in muffin pans. I have two muffin pans because really 24 is much better than 12 when you're already kind of doing it. And there's two racks in the oven and the whole thing, right? So. Um, I just want to do want to do a series of recipes because I already have that started where the recipes are designed for two muffin pans there's so a two muffin pan recipe project so I think that'll be a fun collection we'll see we'll see how it turns out but I'm gonna work on some muffin pan recipes really there's two important projects and then there's a lot of other side projects that I'm just gonna do when I'm in between large projects because I can't do a large project back to back. I have to have some space in there. I hope you are having lots of cozy winter things. It's been insane here. We, in the last week, we have had ice fall from the sky and coat everything with like a quarter inch of, or a half inch of ice. And then and we've had snow and we have had um, oh yeah, there was a bunch of flooding today. <laughs> the, the biggest tide ever. Um, and now it is crazy windy. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great new year. I am absolutely looking forward to 2023, which is a really great place to be. I know that not everyone has things that they are looking forward to. I'm feeling very grateful that I have goals and I'm very excited about them and that I have the ability to also look back and see all the fun things I have accomplished and learned over the last year. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of uh, this.